Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Diane Fago and I am a collage artist. I do magazine collage and I do junk journaling and I do art journaling and mixed media of all sorts of different types. And those are the things that I share here on my channel. And today I am going to work on a page in my journal that I actually completed a while ago. And I'm not sure when, I need to look that up, even though I guess it doesn't really matter. It's been maybe a year or so that I did this page and I actually um, I finished the last pages in this journal a few days ago. And I have just been kind of going through and looking through it a little bit because I knew that I had pages inside that did not have words on it yet. And I will talk about all of that whenever um, I switch you around and show you what's going on inside of here. But in doing that and in looking through this journal, I came across a spread that's actually a three three page spread. So it opens up into three pages. And I came across that and I was looking at it and I thought, you know, I have never really been happy with this page and with, with those three pages. They were, they were okay, but I know that every single time that I had opened up my journal and was flipping through it to, you know, maybe get to another page or to work on something else, that any time that I flipped through that page and saw that, that I just, I just wasn't happy and it just didn't feel like it was finished. It just didn't feel complete. And it took me a while to finally kind of realize that, that that was, that was what I was feeling every time that I looked at it. And I realized that the other night when I was sitting there and going, going through um, my journal and looking through pages that didn't have any words on it. And I finally realized, I was like, you know, this thing that I'm feeling inside every time that I look at these pages is that they don't feel like they're done. They don't feel completed. They don't feel finished. They just don't feel right. It just, it just didn't feel right to me. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to sit down and see if there's anything that I can do to add on to these pages to finally make it feel like it's finished. And it's kind of silly, but, and I always say this, this is, you know, it's my journal. And if I'm not happy with something, then I need to, you know, change it. And sometimes I would in the past. I don't think that I would in the past. I know that I wouldn't have, I would have probably left it and not been happy with it. And looking back on that, I did a lot of pages in here in 2015 that I just was pushing through and getting done and I wasn't happy with them and they were all really forced and whenever I have to force something like that it's not genuine and it doesn't feel like it's a true part of me and an, and an expression of me and I'm just never never happy with it and I think and well and then with that, that's part, I believe, of why I just stopped working in this journal altogether is that I just wasn't happy with anything that I was creating. I felt like I was making, you know, I was forcing these things to happen. And I think that might have been what happened with this spread that I'm getting ready to work on. I just wasn't, I think, I know that I really wanted to use those images and I just kind of did it. And I, glued it down and I think I probably rushed it and maybe did try to force myself to finish it to get it done and I've just never been happy with it. So I'm going to move you over to my work area and open this up and show you what I'm talking about and just kind of start, I'm gonna tell you what happened the past few nights cause this has been brewing around in my mind for the past few nights uh, to do this. So I am really excited to do that to get this page finished. As soon as I do, um, this journal is finished completely. Uh, and I'm going to sit down and do a flip through of it and show you all the pages and, um, you know, do some close ups so that you can see what's inside and see what's written in it and see the words and just close ups of, of what I've done inside. So that will be the next video. So please be sure to um, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I would just be really honored if you subscribe to my 
channel here and I am so very appreciative to all of you and to everyone who has subscribed to me. So if you're not, please do be sure to click the little bell so that you get notifications and um, the next video will be of the flip. And I've got, if you haven't, if you're just finding me or if you haven't looked back, uh, the last few videos in my collage journaling playlist are all working on the last uh, four pages in in my journal. I've been sharing the my complete process of doing the last four pages as far as from starting from picking out the images until I finish the very last one. So be sure to find that play playlist and just look and see what's there. And I'm gonna just go ahead and move you over and we're gonna get started on this. So thank you so much for being here and I'm really uh, excited to see what I can do to make this page to where it finally feels like it, it's done. So we're gonna get started. Okay, so here is my journal and it is all done. <laughs> and I was just going through it a few times just over this past week since I finished this and because I knew that there were several pages in here that I had not added words to a lot of the pages on here as I was just working on things and starting to work on things or going through my stash of magazine images and things like that I would maybe come across something and was just really inspired to put a page together or a lot of times pages just kind of start coming together on their own and instead of just kind of waiting and, until that grew into something complete and I don't know if I can explain all this how my process works sometimes but in the past usually I had like an idea in mind I had something in mind that you know, was triggering this page to come together. It was either I would see an image, and when I would see that image, I would almost see that it as a completed page in my mind. And maybe just or seeing that image would make me think of a quote or something that I thought or something that I was feeling, or like a song lyric. Um, or maybe I had like the thoughts already in my mind first, or a song lyric. I use song lyrics a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, or a quote, I would have that as my starting point and then I would find images that would go with it and that is how I would always start my pages in my journals. But this time, as I was working on things, I just kind of realized that I saw kind of these pages kind of coming together and how they wanted to be but I didn't necessarily have any thought or quote or emotion or anything else tied to it just yet. And so instead of just waiting and seeing if that would, you know, just, well, just not doing anything, not even waiting, just kind of setting that image to, into the side, like, oh, this is like one that I really, really like. If I'm wanting to do something, if I'm wanting to do a page, then, you know, this is where I'll start is by looking through this pile of images because I know that they're already inspiring me. Um, instead of just putting them to the side and waiting, I went ahead and put those pages together as I saw them coming together without anything else. And that was something that I had never done before. So with this, I just put the pages together um, instead of just waiting. I just, I just did it. So there were a lot like that in here that were they were completed as far as having all the images on them but I didn't have any words or anything else on it and I kind of went back and forth for a while on if I should just leave it as it was or if I should add something to it and the night I think it might have been the night after I finished this that I finished this you know completely finished the last pages in here I was just wanting to just kind of sit and work on something and it was quiet and I was feeling quiet and I and it was late and I was kind of tired but I went ahead and picked this up and just started just kind of flipping through it and looking looking at the ones that didn't have anything on it 
And what I ended up doing is I have a basket that's just full of um, clipped out words and phrases from magazines. I've got a little, another little basket that's full of ones that I have clipped from fiction novels and things like that. And I just sat here and I had some, you know, some soothing music on and candles going and and I just went through and added you know as I saw something as I saw something that or a word or a phrase that I thought would work on that page I went ahead and added added that to it and it was a really neat experience and it just kind of you know just it kind of just felt like another finishing stage that I guess I did need to do, um, you know, to just really, really complete this. And so that, that was really nice. So I did that. And then this is kind of set to the side. It was, you know, busy, busy week. And I don't have sometimes a lot of time during the week in the evenings to work on things. And so I was just kind of flipping through it again, just come one last little look to see if I had missed anything or if I wanted to add anything. And I think maybe on the very, 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 very first pages that I did in here, I think that might be the only one that technically doesn't have anything left on it. I'm not sure if I want, want to or not. But I kept on coming across this one spread in here and it's a spread in here that actually every single time that I've looked at it and come across it as I've been flipping through this to, you know, get to the page that I was working on, there was always something about it that I knew I didn't like. And there's my alarm. Hold tight. Okay, sorry about that. I am I am actually home today. It's This is Monday, and today was supposed to be my first day back at work. Um, we have had finished up our Christmas break and we have a snow day today so um, I've got the day off which was really really nice because I really really needed this and I decided we're supposed to get up to seven inches or more so there's there's talk of maybe possibly having a snow day tomorrow as well so I kinda we knew this has been coming so um, I went to the store on Saturday and got things to make a couple of different kinds of curries. So I have coconut lentil curry cooking on the stove right now. And <laughs> it takes a little while to cook, but you have to stir it every now and then so that it doesn't stick to the pan. So I've set a timer for like every 15 minutes to go in and stir it until it's done. So we've got 14 minutes now and it's going to go off again. But um, anyways, back to what I was trying to talk about. There is a spread in here, and every single time that I've looked through this, and honestly, I think even after I completed this spread, I wasn't really happy with it. And it just always felt off, and it just always felt not finished. And I didn't realize that that's how it felt until the other night when I was looking through this, and I came across it, and I was like, you know, I just really don't like this. There's something, it's just, it's not done it's not finished it doesn't feel it doesn't feel complete and there are in the past I would have probably just left it alone and been like okay yeah that was just a bad day and you know it's probably more than likely a page that I wasn't in the best frame of mind as far as finishing it and I don't mean that in like I was in a bad place or anything like that I think it was probably just something as like I knew I remember like really wanting to use the images in it and so I think I pushed I pushed it and I it's forced it's a forced page and it just it just has never felt right and so the other night I came across it again and I had the book open and I thought you know what I wonder if there's something that I can do to start to just complete this page, to finish this page, to make it to where I'm like really happy about it. And it doesn't help that it's more on the simple side and I'm pretty sure, and I'll open this up in a minute, but I'm pretty sure that like the pages before and after it are pretty complex and have 
super, super just detailed things cut out. And so, and then there's this spread. <laughs> and um, I thought, you know what, this is my journal. And if I don't like it, there's nothing wrong with me covering it up or somehow, you know, fixing it to where I like it. And I know whenever I kind of, when I first started working in this again, I, um, at the end of whenever, before I quit working in this. So I actually started working in this journal and I have it dated, um, April 26, 2015. And I did several pages and I, I remember making this journal right after I had completed my first collage journal. And I was, at the time then, I was videotaping everything. Um, and I had for sure slipped into that everything that I create has to be for content. And by the time that I had finished that journal and had immediately started this one, I was starting to get burnt out. And I knew that these were for me, but more and more they felt less and less like they were for me. It was more pushed that I had to do these pages so that I had content. And I think that might be part of why I just stopped. Then everything else started happening um, in my life and that caused it to where I completely just stopped doing any collage and any art, almost any art for several years. Um, so while I was going through um, my separation and divorce, my nephew passed away, my mom passed away, um, all of those things were going on and, you know, I, I just couldn't, I didn't have it in me to do anything at all and I felt like it was just completely, like, I. I honestly thought that that was it, that I would not be able, that I had forgotten. I remember feeling that I had forgotten how to do collage by the time, you know, that I was a year, a couple years, several years out. Well, you know, a year or so on my own, I remember thinking that, that I, that I forgot, that I just didn't know how to do it anymore. Um, but then as I started working in this again, and I was looking at some of these pages that I had completed back in 2015, they, they were sure to the point to where they were ones that I just didn't like. And I knew that I had done them for a specific reason, like for maybe a prompt for something or something like that, and I just didn't like them. So I actually did cover some up. I know this one here I did not like, and I had this is completely covered up and brand new. And there's one, this one here I had covered up, and this here I had covered up, just completely covered up and started over. And it really made me happy <laughs> to just to just cover it up and make it go away and and to start fresh and do something that I really that I really liked and that, you know, was really me. So I told myself that as I kept on looking at this page back here that was bothering me so terribly, so terribly much. And and this is it, and I can't put my camera back any farther. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. <laughs> and this is probably just a lot of me. But, you know, I've got all of this going on before it. And then I've got all of this going on after it. And I just, it just doesn't feel like it's finished. And so I, the other night, was looking at this and I thought, you know, I just need to see if what I, if there's anything that I could do to add to this so that I'm truly happy with it. And this, you know, it's not, I, I can't, I can't talk, I can't, you know, this is the image on here so everything that I have to do has to be layered on top of what's already here. So I was looking at this and looking at her and what I ended up doing was I've got these t plastic tubs here and I know I've sh shown them a couple times to you all in the past and here let me move this out of the way. So 
So I've got these plastic tubs here, and they came in, you know, in like packs. This might have been two or three. I don't know. This might have just been two. And then I've got this size, and then this size. And I got these at Target, and they weren't, you know, that much at all. I don't remember. It's been a little while since, since I got them. So what I ended up doing with these is these are the things that I like use the most as far as when it comes to adding elements onto onto my collage pages and I think what kind of started it is I was I was looking for something to do and I wasn't really inspired to, to like work on a full page but I was just trying to do something just to be doing something and I had been kind of running low on watch faces and so I went through some magazines. I was needing some big ones. And so I went through a couple of um, magazines looking for watch faces. And I thought, you know, it'd be fun to just kind of go ahead and sit here and cut these out. And so that's what I did is I, all the ones that I found, I cut out. And so then that kind of led into, well, I've got like, you know, some butterflies and a lot of with a lot of these die cut butterflies. I have some vellum butterflies. I thought I had quite a few of them and I can't find them so I don't know if they're in with a travel bag um, <clears throat> excuse me of things where you know I've put together a travel bag so I was going downtown uh, there was an art group that met and I would take my stuff. I don't know if it's in with that I'm not sure but so I've got butterflies and then I have jewelry and rings because I use those things a lot. And these big images, these came from W Magazine. I don't even know if they still make W Magazine, but it's a really long, <laughs> it's a really long magazine. The pages are really long. Like, um, in, this, in this journal, like, this page here is is the image from W Magazine. So this is, you know, a normal size is, so that I think this is 10 inches. So I know this is eight. The here, from here to here it is eight. So that's how long the magazine is. So it's a nice big magazine. It's great for, you know, big things like that. Um, so that's where these came from. So I've got this that has jewelry in it. And this has just the small, small rings and earrings that I've come across So in this little one. And then over here, as far as the flowers go, I have always, always, always saved bits and pieces of flowers that I've cut off. I've, if I'm tucking in, um, if I'm tucking an image in, like a flower in behind somebody, let me see if I can find a, a good, well, so like right here. So this flower is tucked in behind that one. I actually cut this extra off that's underneath and I keep that because I can use it. So the other half of this flower where this is cut off, I keep that other half because I know that I can use it. And so that's where things, you know, that's kind of, it's not the same flower, but that's where a lot of this comes from. The other place that these come from is when I'm cutting out um, a big image that's on one side of a piece of paper. A lot of times there's on left over on the other side are bits and pieces of the image that was on the other side. And that's where things like this come from. So this is the side of where the image was that I had actually cut. This was on the back side. And there's perfectly decent pieces of leaves there that I, I can use. And, and I do, because they're great to have to, you know, tuck in onto these places if needed. So that's what all these are. These are just some bigger pieces. And some of these here are ones that maybe I cut out and thought that I was going to use, but then didn't. So I do have some whole flowers in here. But this is the bigger pieces. This is mainly flower pieces. This is all leaves that are parts and then these are just like the really small little pieces of leaves that, that I that I have. 
So what I ended up doing, <laughs> and and it's I mean, I'm glad that I that I do stuff like this because it just it it makes it easier to just kind of put things together, and it's just really nice to just kind of sit here and just start picking stuff and and seeing if if something can be built, some sort of a little element, a decorative element, a collage element can be built. So what I ended up doing the other night is I just kind of had this stuff and I was looking through it and I need to take a sip of coffee. Okay, so then what I ended up doing and I wish that I could have videotaped this and talked through it at the time, but my kids were home and my son was playing video games and it was just, it was loud and it was, I was the weekend and it's just not quiet here on the weekend. So, um, I was looking at her and so the first thing that I thought of was, well, how can I, how can I make, how can I make her to where I'm more happy with her? And I was, so I'm, as I was looking at her, there goes my alarm, hold tight. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it smells so good in here. <laughs> I cannot wait until this is ready to eat. Um, so, as I was looking at her, I saw in my mind something coming from her chest. And I think part of it is just kind of the expression on her face. I'm not sure, but that's what I saw. So, I thought, okay, what is something that I could have? You know, I saw something just like bursting, bursting from her chest. I don't know if it has anything to do with what this says, which I really love what this says. I wish it wasn't written like this because it's kind of difficult, but this was clipped from a magazine. It says, without risk, it can, it can become easy to settle into consistency, scrutiny, and stable, is that security? S-E-C- scrutiny I think so and stabilizing without risk I wonder if we can ever experience growth um it's got to be security see it's written it, that's written so messily I can't even read it without risk it can become easy to settle into consistency security and stabilizing without risk I wonder if we can ever experience growth so I think just thinking that about experiencing growth that made me see something here on her chest and just like growing just growing out and just you know pouring pouring out from her her everything so of course with me and with me and my symbols that I love to use the most the first thing that I saw was a butterfly <clears throat> excuse me and so I've got a couple here I haven't completely decided which one that I like, which one I want to use. I think I'm actually leaning towards the monarch here. Um, so I pulled pulled the butterfly out of one of my bins and the other thing that I use a lot is watch watch faces and so I found a watch face and see how much that's already changed how this page looks. I'm going to tack this down. So that to me already just makes a huge difference on that page. And with seeing this orange butterfly here, just to kind of tie things together better, I think I'm going to cut out another monarch and put it on this side so that it, you know, just helps all of this go together. So then I decided Two, I was looking through through the jewelry and things like that and just kind of thinking, well, what can I add to this? Because, you know, like I said, I was seeing like just more things just kind of coming coming from from her within. And I found this necklace, which is kind of cool. And I had cut this out on a whim and it was difficult to cut out because anything that's any of these delicate things that are cut out from just a regular you know, Vogue type magazine, they're so fragile because the paper is so, th so thin. And it's really hard to use like an X-Acto knife, even if it's super sharp, because it, the paper just doesn't want to cut and it like kind of starts snagging and pulling and it tears. Um, 
But anyways, I came across this, and I thought that was really pretty. So at first it's like, well, I could put that on her head, or, but I think what I'm going to do is actually tuck this in down here. And now, since I'm talking about all this, I'm quite sure that I'm going to use this one. So I want to spread it out a little bit more because I want to be able to see more of the wings. I don't want so much of the, I don't want all, all the wings covered up from the watch. So I'm just going to take the body out here so that I can spread the wings out and that will help with this. And I know I'm going to have to probably trim some of this off. But I thought that that was kind of cool. Having these jewels hanging down. Hanging down from, from that. And this is for sure just like a trial and error type thing. You know, don't, don't question any thought that comes to your mind, just just try it and see. Like even how, no matter how outlandish it feels or seems, if that's kind of what you see, that's you know that's your like your little inner artist that's saying, hey, this is like really cool. You need to do this, and and you just gotta listen. And there's a lot of things that I have done in my journals that at first I thought was really weird. And I didn't know why, but I'm glad that I did, and that, that's why I did. Just a good example was this right here. I cut her face off, <laughs> put, a, put a watch there, and put a hat on it. So um, I don't know why I did, but that's what I saw, and so that's, you know, that's, that's what I did. So um, even kind of with this one here, I put these really funky, ugly eyes on there. But this is also talking about my allergies. And those definitely are allergy eyes, but to put them upside down, you know, that was just kind of what I saw. And so that's what I did. Um, so then I was like, well, you know, what else can I add on here? So I grabbed my little basket of flowers and I pulled out some of these, which were the backside of, you know, of an image that had been cut out and I went ahead and cut them out completely and I think what I'm going to do is I'm tempted to take this off of her but let's see I want to do something like this even see even this one all it is is oh come on this little bit, this little half of a rose with a bud on it. Not even, well, barely even half of a rose. And it's usable. So, might tuck that down there. This here might need to be clipped off and adjusted so that I can make sure that it fits behind that watch face. So that's where we are right now is something like this and that already has made such a huge difference on here and this is something that you could do like even just if you're going through a mat if you're doing you know reverse collage in in a book or you know in a magazine or like what I'm doing in my nomad journal where I'm building on off on top of images that are already in a book. The Nomad one, I don't think it has any people in it so that I could show you that, but you know, if you were working in a book that had people in it and you wanted to add something like this, this is a, a way that you could do that without, you know, not doing just the, the, you know, where you are cutting things out and tucking things in behind people and, and all sorts of stuff like that. You can build on top of a complete image that's already you know, already there. So then I think I've got a couple other flowers that I had picked out. I did go ahead and cut this one out um, the other night. I don't know if I'll use it to keep on focusing on her face. 
And then I've got this one here that is not completely cut out. And I don't know. I don't know how much stuff I want kind of flowing out. I feel like I kind of want it to be... Actually, I kind of like having both of those on each end. I don't have any more of this. I, I'm i not sure if I'm going to put anything here at all. I don't know if, if updating her here and adding a butterfly over here. I need to cut out a monarch so that I can put it there. If that's enough to make me happy. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can find a butterfly here. I've got my book right here. Oh my goodness. I've been cutting things out the past few days. I started going trying to go through a magazine purge. I've got a million magazines sitting in my closet and since I have a hard time videoing um, when my kids are here, I need things that I can do, <laughs> you know, that I can still be working on. So let's see if we can find a monarch. Well, I know that I can, but let's find a butterfly that will... Actually, this one here on the cover might be perfect. It's the same color scheme, but not totally the same butterfly. Here's a... I need to get this out of the way. I'm going to completely remove my journal here, and we'll just work on my workspace. Here's another rose that I cut out that I didn't see on my area because it was on the table. It kind of blended in. And this is my butterfly, one of my butterfly books that I use. I did find this at half price, half price bookstores. And it's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Just full, full of beautiful butterflies. So now I just need to kind of decide if I want to use a monarch. Or if I just want one the same color scheme, I'm half tempted to take this one down here. I like it. It's right here up front, and it's the colors that we want. I'm just going to do that. And this one I'm going to keep whole, so... Alright. I'm going to cut this out really fast. I'm not sure when my timer is going to go off again. I don't remember how... I think I set it for 30 minutes this time. It's one of those things that is a nice... slow cook, so it just simmers for a while. But when I knew that we were going to be getting all this weather, the first thing I thought of was I need to make some curry because it's warm and it's comforting and it makes a lot. <laughs> so once I have some made, then I've got plenty around here to eat without having to worry about going out and getting anything or running out. This storm has hit um, a little bit, quite a bit later than what they had originally planned, so if it does what they think it's going to do, there is a good chance that I might have a snow day tomorrow too, which I'm totally okay with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. first half of my Christmas break was spent with doctor's appointments and just trying to recover from um, 
the effects that influenza had on me. I actually had to go in last week for an echocardiogram just to double check to make sure that everything was okay. My lungs are still not happy. So, there we go. And I don't mind, I could go with a black marker actually and cover that up so it's not so obvious that, you know, that this is cut out. I might do that. I don't know if I've got it. Yeah, I've got a sharpie there. I could set this down on something, but I really don't have a piece of paper right here to do this, so. Sometimes I've completely cut their antenna off and used um, pieces of, of black um, DMC floss, um, embroidery floss. That's always kind of fun. All right, there we go. So, let's see. this back over real quick. This guy's hanging out there so much I almost feel bad about removing him, but I think I really want to have orange over there since I've got so much orange going on on this side. And I don't know, I think this is okay now. Just putting that there and I think that I will like all of it a whole lot better. So let's, let's, um, I'm actually going to pause and I'm going to cut this one out and I'll be back and we'll start putting this together and get this on her and see how it looks. Okay, so I think I'm ready to start putting this all together. I just got that one cut out. And let's see, so I'm going to lay this out first, figure out how I want to do this, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, bit by bit, start putting this together. I might use the lines here on my mat. <laughs> to help me out a little bit, to keep things even, since they are there. I've been doing so much cutting lately that... There, that kind of tucks in there, just perfect. Look at that. Let me put this up a little bit. The watch just tucks right, right in there. It's just like it was meant to be. Okay, so now, did I have the flowers behind, uh, did I have them behind the watch, or the flower, I don't remember, I don't remember, oh, I think I had them behind here, that one is, got a weird spot in it, because it had a leaf on the other side, I think I might. I'm gonna go silent here as I think about all this in my mind. <laughs> That's just kind of what happens. This one over here. And if I wanted to, I could I could cut this. I don't have to keep it all together. If I want to have a couple of the orange flowers on one side and 
snagging on my little necklace here. If I want to have them on one side and then carry them on over the other, I could, I could cut it. This little necklace here is causing me some issues. It's everything's kind of catching on all the little parts of it. I just like having this all figured out before I start adhering things together because once you start getting the glue out sometimes there's no turning back. So. <clears throat> That little piece of rose is just not quite wanting to... there. I don't want to cover up a lot of my necklace though, because that's really cool. Actually, I could put it underneath here. There, I solved that problem. Okay. That'll be up there somewhere. Okay, I think something like that is where we're going to go. So what I like to do, there you go, what I like to do now is I actually get my phone and I take a picture of this because I might forget exactly how I have this and how I liked having it laid out. It's really easy to, once you take it apart, to then be like, oh wait, how did I do that? especially when there's so many different little layers like this. So I like to take a picture of this and then I have a reference for when I'm starting to put it back together. All right, so now I need to place this on top of this piece of paper here. I think this is parchment paper. Yeah, this is just a piece of parchment paper that I glue stuff on. That way I don't get glue all over my space here. And I'm gonna have my picture open here. So I can see it. And I think what I will start with, since I there's nothing really tucked in behind, there's only one, actually this guy here. I might go ahead, this is just, this is barely hanging on. I'm just going to do that. You know, I might put that together. Make that more look like a leaf. I'm just going to use part of this since it's going to be on the back anyway. 
Just do a little repair job here real quick. This is called using what you have, which I am very big on. Kind of repaired that. I need to turn this around because this is bent on the corner and it's catching on my sleeve. Okay. All right. Because I know that that little bit of rosebud is actually behind the watch. It's right here is where I had it. So it's in between the watch and the butterfly wings. So it actually needs to go on before I put the butterfly wings on. So I'm going to do the... All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I had a little bit of my curry. I had to take one of my shirts off. I've got like four layers on because it gets so cold. I had to remove a layer because I my curry finished while I was cutting something out and I couldn't resist. I had to have a little bowl of it. And so now those spices are warming me up, I think. So it is doing its job for why I made it, that's for sure. And I mean, okay. What's that? Because, yeah, I know that I liked having that there. That's actually part of a rosebud. You can see. Oh, somebody just turned their snowblower on. Where it, it's coming down. <laughs> it is coming down. Right now, it's absolutely just magical outside. The flakes are really, really big. And they're just slowly falling to the ground. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love the snow. You know, I think I might switch over to the glue stick for part of this, because this glue likes to soak through these really fine magazine images. I'm just using a Yoohoo glue stick. I've noticed with some other things that I've glued down that um, I'm trying to make sure I've got this not totally crooked. <laughs> um, I've noticed with some other things that I've glued down that had really thin magazine pages that this liquid glue likes to soak through it and it dries okay and clear but sometimes it can cause the image to buckle a little bit and I don't want it to buckle so there's that so now wait I got to, okay so then the necklace is behind I might go ahead and put that on This is back here. Actually, we had it so that I wonder if I should do it this way. Oh, come off, baby. Since I used the glue stick, it doesn't dry as quickly as this liquid glue does. This liquid glue dries pretty quick. I'm gonna, there we go. Okay, let's, I'm rethinking this a little bit. I'm gonna start with the necklace here. I know that I want it tucked. Got to be careful because this will literally like tear this magazine page. It is so thin. I 
Actually, I wonder if that's better. Just kind of, I'm just, since it's about the same, I'm just, I'm not tucking it under. I'm just letting it curve along the bottom of that watch because it actually blends in with that really well. I'm trying to get it to focus. Uh, there we go. Let's see how that just really looks like it's actually one piece. So. On. It's going to change how I get these wings on though. I wonder if I should clip. I'm going to Clip this here where this naturally ends and clip this side here where it ends. We're just making some minor adjustments here. All right. Because I need to be able to get these wings on here. So I'm going to get the wings on and then if I want I could actually tuck in these little bits. I'm going to set those there so that I see them and I don't forget about them. So that one goes there. these wings to be as even as I can get them. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so there we are so far. So now let's put this big white flower on. Big white rose. Make sure I'm gluing the right side. So now let's see. I don't know if I'm with those or not. That's a question mark. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Uh, what's next? So let's put this pink rose on. Just going to have it tucked back up here.
So there's that side. So now this side. I feel like I need to have this on top because it breaks, breaks up this orange flower a little bit so it's not so just there. So what I'm going to do, since this has got such a straight edge and it's not fitting, I'm going to just trim this to make it more of a curved, look like a petal. So instead of it having a straight, I'm just going to wiggle it around. And now it looks more curved, so hopefully that'll help me tuck it in behind here better. Or, since I'm having such a problem with this, yeah, I do, I think I do like it better there. I want this bud to not be pointing in that direction, so... This is what we're going to do. We're going to move it. To where we want it to be. And that should help with the placement of this. I'm going to go ahead and tuck this little bit of rose right here. I could also find another bit of flower probably that would maybe work a little bit better there there which is why I save all those little pieces because you just never know you just never know Doesn't that look better on that end than it did sticking out up there? It just makes it flow a little bit better. And I want to have as much of it showing as I can, so it's barely going to be glued on back here. Okay, so let's revisit this stuff. <laughs> Is it going to work now? That's the question. I don't have to use all of it because the way that the way that this image was it wasn't you know um, even as far as how it was laid out so that's why it's being a little bit difficult to work with and I will have to just trim the edges off of these which is okay so this one, this little bit here is not working. There. It just makes it look more like it's kind of dripping in jewels a little bit here, which is pretty. I don't know though. I kind of feel like that might be a little bit too much. I'm just going to tack this on here and see what I think since that other side decided to stick. All right. I'm going to grab my journal. And lay this on there 
and see, because I'm really on the fence about, about that. <laughs> Yeah, that's too much. I don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. All right, I knew it. I knew, I knew that I didn't like it, but I was trying to push it. So that's what happens. Um, all right. And figure out exactly how I want to place these. Need to be careful because I know that there's some adhesive on the back of here and I don't want to accidentally stick it down just yet. That right there, it's not glued down. Okay, well, it's all stuck together, so that's what <laughs> there's. There's no turning back now, so there we go. I think I'm going to put it about there. I don't like that little button there. It's, to me, is distracting, so I need to cover that up. So I can either move it down a little bit and find another little bit of flower or just have it right there, which is actually that's probably right where her heart's at, so there. All right. Well, let's get this adhered down. I think all these are pretty much good, so I'm going to do very gently. Um, I guess maybe I'll go ahead and use this. Well, I don't know. Well, oh, I'll go ahead and use this one. I know it's going to soak through that magazine image a little bit, but. It should be okay. It's just since there's so many bits and pieces with doing this with the glue stick, a lot of time it goes through the spaces where there's holes and it just can kind of be a little bit messy. 
I kind of want this to be neat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this place down. That's just really, really, really changed. Changed how she looks. And I don't know if I've, I've got a towel. Got my little bit of, just cut out piece t-shirt here. All right, oh. So now let's just go ahead and stick this butterfly down real quick and should be it. I think I don't think I'm gonna do anything with this middle page um, at all. Just knocking everything over. Cause I think now since I've added all these uh, these just these things here, I feel a lot better about all of it. I don't, don't think that, I'm just going to put that there. That seems to be where he wants to go. And these are, these are like that just because this is right on the fold. So, you know, there's just really no way to get around, around that. And I'm okay with that. Um, I'd rather have it kind of bent up and not totally glued down than being cut off. And I like having things spread from page to page, so that's just kind of one of the things. I could try to glue that down, but, and it's probably been glued down before, but it's just easier to, just easier to just kind of accept that that's what happens if you're going to be working in the, in the folds. So, all right, let me, I'm going to zoom out real quick. Okay, so here we go. I would say that that looks quite a bit different. <laughs> I feel a lot happier about this. All these flowers in the background now, it just, this I think this is fine. So it's a little bit of a pause in between the two things that are going on here. But I just, yeah, I feel much better about her. So there's the pages before, and here, there's the fold out. These are the last few pages that I did. These were the last four that I did in my journal, and then I finished these a, a little while before then. So that's it. Yeah, I feel a whole lot better about that. So. I'm going to go ahead and call this good. <laughs> I don't, I think that's it. I'm, I'm good. Um, next up then I will do a flip through of this journal. I'm going to leave this open for a bit because I don't know if it's complete. I don't feel like it's completely dry. Um, I'm going to do a flip through and flip through each of the pages and so you can see this, this journal all the way done. And then, yeah, that's it. I already have my next one bound and ready to go. And here it is. This is what it start looks like when I start. And I've already, I like putting, since uh, this one needed it for sure, since I hate this one got so terribly thick, but I like putting the, just some fun, duct tape on the end and I had this one in my cupboard so this is what I'm going to use so that just helps reinforce it for me since obviously this one is really really big and it actually is so big that it po I popped some of the stitches inside so this is literally holding it together right now so this one I 
only have three signatures in it instead of four. And so I'm hoping that that will help keep it from getting so massively thick and stay together a lot better. So I am in the process of making some of these to put in my shop. It's something that I wanted to do and share for a really, really, really long time. So um, I have some, I am making them. It takes me a little while. <laughs> if this is something that you would be interested in having, please let me know. I would love, I would love to hear if you would like to have a journal like this. But this is what I have done now. I've got two of them, two full journals. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go and I'm going to go have a real bowl of curry <laughs> instead of a little cup. And I hope that you are all doing well. I hope that you enjoyed this and that, you know, it just kind of, I just wanted to share with you that there are times when I just really don't like what I do. And it just, it just didn't, it wasn't that I didn't like what I did. It just didn't feel done. It did not feel completed to me. And now it does. And now this journal is totally finished. And now I know that I can move on and start this one and just be completely ready to go. So take care, everybody. If you have any questions, please ask. I will do my best to respond as quickly as I can. I know I'm really bad about that. Please forgive me. And um, I hope that you're all safe and warm. Um, it's, well, we're getting dumped on right now. So <laughs> I don't know where we are as far as how much snow, but... We're going to get up to seven inches, so um, I will film this next, and then we will see what goes on from there. So thank you so much, everybody. If you're not um, a subscriber, please subscribe. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. You are each and all extremely important to me, and I am very, very thankful that you are here and that you follow me and give me a thumbs up and all the great well all those things and I will see you here in a little bit. Take care. I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.